Yeah, Mafia Magazine Radio. Hey, what's going on? This Red McFly. Hey, what's good, Red? Hold on for a second. Let me set you up real quick, all right? Okay. For all my listeners out there, man, we get the opportunity to sit down, man, with a with a fresh, incredible, up and con up and coming artist, producer, writer. Hey, right, we gonna sit down with this cat, and this cat goes by the name of Red McFly, and he gonna let us know, man, how he getting down on his side of town. So, Red baby, what's good, man? How they treating you these days? Yeah, you know, everybody been showing me a lot of love lately. I, just, I had dropped a mixtape, um, Beat Jack and DeLorean, and it got, it got, uh, I think we had like 12,000 downloads so far on that joint. Okay. Um, everything was going smooth, dropped a couple videos, got a lot of, uh, people been picking it up, a lot of blogs been messing with me, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 no doubt. So, so tell us, man, exactly where you originally from and, uh, how long you actually been doing your thing? I'm originally from from North New Jersey, you know. And then we uh we migrate over to uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania, and that's um that's like where my a lot of my friends and we just been that's the reason why I've been taking flight at with, with this with this music career. No doubt. And we just took the show on the road, you know. We head up down south regions, Midwest regions, and, and the whole East Coast. We just attacked that market as well, so that's where we starting off at. Right, 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 right. So man, like you know, mm -hmm. when you when you first started the game, or when you first decided, you know what I'm saying, that music was a thing for you. You know what I'm saying, like what inspired you, or who inspired you? You know what I'm saying, like what what you know what made you want to do this and do this well. Um, basically, I, a lot of my influence came from in the beginning. For me, wanting to be a producer and an artist had a lot to do with. It. I was a huge Wu Tang fan. I was a huge um. Wu Tang, uh, like Dr. Dre, NWA era, Pac, and uh, and Pete Rock. I looked up to people like that, like those type of producers. So that that that's where a lot of my influence started at. And then you know, I, I I I I was always a big fan of um like producer rappers that follow the same path as, as what I'm doing, like somebody like Kanye West, right, or Pharrell. You know what I mean? People like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so with with that being said, so so that tells me you feeling like you can bring something something new and fresh to the game. You know what I mean? Give us a little insight on man, what you thinking, man? You can bring to the table. Yeah, basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to always think of stuff that nobody else is doing. Right. Like I feel like that's what's going to give me that longevity in the game. Yeah. Always being able to to take a route that people are not doing at the time. Mm hmm. Uh, whether it be an original idea or something that I'm bringing back that nobody did in a long time. Right. It's just that I'm always trying to do it. That's like the mixtape, for example, the beat jacket and the murder. Uh-huh. Now, you know, I got my name, Brad McFly, you know, the movie, Marty. Right. So, like, I went back in time, wrapped on all the, all, a lot of beats that I liked from the early 90s all the way up to, like, the early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. I got some Wu Tang on there, Far Side, like this is my. I went through all of the West Coast, Down South, and East Coast, and even Midwest artists, not just East Coast. Like you know, some people might try to do that. Right. I had all the tracks. I I had some um Ghetto Boys tracks, all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you went through the whole thing, then. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I try to do. I try to basically just do stuff that nobody else is doing. So they be like, "Damn, why ain't I think of that?" That's why. I, that's how I always want to get all these other artists thinking. When they see something I do, like, damn, why I ain't thinking that? Right, right, right. <laughs> yes, the, no doubt. Hey, you know, you don't even know this, man. Or you might have forgot, man. I, we, we, you know, we got, we run kind of like in the same circles, man. Some of the people that we know, you know what I'm saying, is, is down uh -huh. there with you. You know what I mean? I don't know if you remember, but I seen you one time perform down at, uh, down in Allentown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, 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 I I really, I remember that because <laughs> that was the, uh, the music conference. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Alfonso Time Associates. They put that joint together. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that exactly. I, I, I always remember you after that joint, like with the magazine and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff. Because I called my man and after I got you, you know what I'm saying? After I started checking your bio, I was like, hold on, man. I remember this cat, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was all cool, man. So you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get back to this music, man. You know what I'm saying? So you just put out the mixtape, man. Like you know, you, you, what inspired you to put this mixtape together? And 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 tell us who all helped you get this 
and put this together like it was there some collaboration on the mixtape did you do it by yourself you know what i'm saying like you know what did it take to actually put this together yeah actually a lot of it was, it was just i was just sitting there thinking you know i was watching the movie back to the future actually when i came with the idea <laughs> And I said, they're thinking that you're like, damn, this would be a crazy idea right here. Yeah. So I hit up my um, my manager, Paper Union, manager in Tennessee City. And then my engineer, his name Sam Cho, Paperback Studio. I was like, yo, we got to put this project together. Mm -hmm. And then I just went in there. I did the whole track. I did the whole project by myself, no features. The only thing is I put a bonus track, the track I got with Tink's Drugs. A lot of people should be familiar with them by now. You got a you got a popular song right now with Rick Ross and uh, and Diddy on um on uh all over the radios and I think they just dropped the video on MTV and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So like that was the bonus track I put on there because that was a song I did in the process of um of doing that, which is going on my next mixtape, Take Flight. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole mixtape is all me on there. I ain't got no. Just features and nothing. None of that. Uh huh. Hey, so so yeah. you know, a lot of people don't know, man. You don't came out with stuff before that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, welcome yeah. to Red, you know what I mean. Let us know. Welcome to Red Light City One. You know, so far so close. You know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know saying. A lot of people. Go ahead. Uh huh. A lot of people what? Oh uh, yeah, a lot of people. They don't. They just started jumping on to me after um. I dropped my only competition. Yeah. Which they uh they premiered it um in the source magazine and all this type of stuff like uh they spoke about it and uh and vibe. They spoke about it, um it was all over the internet. Tape Masters Inc. Yeah. It's biscuit dot com. They they helped um uh host the joint with uh alongside my man, um, DJ Cash Crook from Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. like a big DJ out there. Yeah. So once that mixtape, that was like my first introduction of being like an industry artist, I, I guess you could say. Yeah, no doubt. But like before that, you know, I had I had a lot of projects that that were big, like in the Pennsylvania region, and and then I was getting some internet burn and stuff like that. Cause a lot of I was just starting to get on a lot of blogs, like when I dropped the uh, So Far So Close, the Revenge of the Nerds mm -hmm. joint. Yeah. The, um, <laughs> the Sound of My Soul, which is probably one of my favorite projects. Even though, yeah, I wish that joint would have got presented later because that was more like a, a soulful sound. Right. I mean, just getting real personal with the with the fans, you know what I mean? Like, really getting a, a, a touch of my soul, basically. You right, right, right. No question about that. All right, so... So yeah. what's the videos y'all got coming out with the with the with the new mixtape, man? You know what I'm saying? Let us know, man, about you know which tracks, you know what's the name of the tracks and the videos that's gonna go with the tracks. You know, what I'm saying? give us some insight, man. Let us know what we need to be looking out for, man. Yeah, I dropped a couple of them already. I dropped one to the, the Tupac Pain joint. Mm -hmm. I dropped one to the um uh, the A Z and Nas uh Mo Money Mo Money Mo Homicide joint. Okay. I dropped yeah, and then I'm about to drop one to the Hot Boys track. Yeah. That's the Missy Elliott track. And then I, I got a joint with um Shine. Actually, I used one of Shine, Shine Poe. You know, remember Shine? Yeah, yeah. Bird I did Judy. a track on one of his beats, and he actually gave me a shout-out with a little co-sign in the beginning. Yeah. So I'm going to drop a video to that joint as well. That was the Barry Judas joint, wasn't it? <laughs> uh yeah, that was the track I produced for him. That was uh that was a very controversial track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh um, <laughs> that was the first time I got mentioned on M T V and everything like that. Yeah. It was a track that he did. You know him and um the game yeah, they got was the, having a little issue yeah, and everything and uh he had to drop the track on him. Right, right. And right. he happened to use one of my beats. Yeah. And that was just, everybody was blowing me up from that. Yeah, no doubt. Like, they was looking at it like I was dissing game, too, because I did the beat. It was just, it was it was a crazy, it was a crazy situation, but I was blessed to uh, to actually even be a part of something that's going on that, that's been watched by everybody all around the world. Right, right. You know what I mean? No doubt. And, and um, Sean, he wanted to, he wanted to, the artist that's in the game that, that look out, like, I send him tracks, he he hit me right back, he's like, Yeah, I like this, I don't like that. Right, right, right. So I definitely got a lot of respect for him. No doubt. And um we got a lot of respect for the Coke Boys. They they was another like one of the first major groups to um to take me in and as like respect my work and actually work with me as a as a producer and as an artist. Right, right, right. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do you find it easier? You find it easier to you know to produce, or or is it or is it easier to, to spit and and be the artist that you are? You know what I'm saying? I mean, is there a transition between the both of them, or or do you want like do you like one more than the other? <laughs> That's always a, uh, a lot of people ask me that. And I I think the way how I feel is different from other people because I feel like, to me, it's all one thing to me. Like, overall, I just say I'm an artist. Right. Like, I, I really say, like, I'm a producer and a rapper. I just, like, I'm an artist. And the music that I'm doing is my artwork, whether it be uh -huh. producing or actually sitting down writing and spitting the bars. Yeah. Because I love doing both equally. Right. Like, I couldn't have it any other way. Like, I wouldn't want to just be an artist. I wouldn't just want to be a producer. Even if I got a... If people told me, yo, your rhymes is whack, you should never do it again, and <laughs> they just told me to get like, I would still... I would still be an artist. Even if I got two fans, I'm going to make my music for them two fans. Yeah. They just do it like that, and I'm going to make them beats too. Right. The beats are, you know, I like being a producer because of the fact that... It... it it brings more money than being an artist. Right. I like being an artist because it allows me to showcase my creativity a little more. Yeah. Like being an actual rapper, I'm saying, like, rapping on the tracks because I, I can express myself a little more than just making a beat. You know what I mean? No doubt. For all, my yeah. listeners, for all my listeners out there, man, we got the opportunity to sit down, man, with an incredible cat, man, an incredible artist, man. He goes by the name of Red McFly. You know, we sitting uh -huh. down with this cat, and he letting us know, man, you know how he getting down on his side of town. Hey, Red, man, I appreciate <laughs> you coming out, man, spending your time with us, baby. And uh, I just wanted yeah, to let no you problem, know, man, man, I ain't forget about you. You know what I'm saying? I knew who you was when they came to me with you, you know? And I was like, yeah, man, let's do something with this brother, you know? But, um, <laughs> yeah, before we go, though, man, once again, Man, I want to give you the opportunity to, to, to shout out and plug everything and everybody, man, that's been in your corner to help you get to the point to where you are today. Okay, yeah, I definitely, I got to shout out everybody that's been following the Take Flight movement, the Red Light movement. Yeah. You know, all my family, uh, Jay Sweets, the Army Guns, the Mission, <laughs> Ted City. Um, everybody that's been, that's been helping with the movement, like even with the McFly Life. Thing we got going on with the with the custom clothing because you know it's beyond just music itself. Yeah. You know, um, shout out to everybody that, that actually went on that piss and, and took the time and downloaded the project and leave comments and no they stop and see me like at the shows and like I, I always speak to everybody at the shows and I I never is a rush to leave when it comes to the fans like I always. Want to speak to everybody and, and know the honest opinion. That's the way it goes. And um, shout out to everybody that's following me on Twitter at Red Nick Fly. Um, we got the project coming soon. Take flight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a real big project hosted by Evil Empire. I mean, Y'all know that's French Montana DJ. He does all his mix things. So um, they basically uh, shout out to uh to Mafia Magazine. Yeah. For uh for hitting me up and. and and allow me to uh, speak to everybody. Some uh, probably even some new people that 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 don't know who I am that's listening right now. No question. They, they might, you know, they might go on there and, and check me out for this. No question. So shout out, shout out to y'all. Yeah, no. Big shout out to C Dabs too, Dabs man. We couldn't do this without you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, she always uh, hit me up, man. <laughs> and I definitely respect um, everything that y'all doing. Yeah, no question, man. For all my listeners out there, once again, man, we had the opportunity to sit down, man, with Red McFly. Hey, Red, baby, it was beautiful that you came out, man. And uh, you know, I'm gonna say, man, may you always be blessed, man, and continue to prosper in the things that you do, man. And if it's anything that uh -huh. mafia, and if it's anything that mafia can do to help you, man, on your path, man, don't hesitate one second, man, to give us a hit, baby, and we get right with you. You heard? Uh, thank you. It's the same way with you. same way over here too. No, no doubt, baby. I hey, appreciate everything. And for all my listeners, y'all stay locked in, baby, because we're getting ready to hit you with one of Red's tracks, man. That you sent me over that uh -huh. U track. I got that U track getting ready to bang that for you, cat. You <laughs> so, yo, man. I just once again, man. I want to say, man, peace and may you always prosper. You heard? Uh huh. Yeah. Peace. Take flight. No doubt.